This isn't science fiction, it's real. Beneath the waves, where the ocean breathes in slow, massive rhythms, there's an untapped force waiting to be mastered. While most renewable headlines scream solar panels or wind farms, a quieter revolution is unfolding below sea level, one powered by tides, currents, and technology straight out of a sci-fi novel. From underwater kites to undulating membranes that mimic marine life, engineers are reimagining how we pull energy from the sea. It's not just about turbines anymore. This is the story of humanity's attempt to turn the tide in our favor, and it might change the world. The Ancient Pulse of Tidal Power Before there were grids or generators, people learned to read the sea. The tides, rising and falling with moonlit precision, powered some of the earliest industrial tools. In medieval Europe, tide mills emerged, stone barrages and wooden water wheels capturing ocean energy not for lights or data centers, but to grind grain. In England, a tide mill from 1170 still stands, a relic of a time when nature itself was muscle. Fast forward centuries. In 1924, the U.S. began to study tidal power for electricity. Nova Scotia followed in the 1950s, but the real breakthrough came in 1965, when France built the Rance Tidal Power Station, the first large-scale tidal barrage. It was proof of concept, the ocean could fuel civilization. Though tidal energy faded from the spotlight, that early work laid a foundation. Engineers knew the tides were consistent, predictable, and potent. All they needed was a better way to harness them. Now, with climate urgency rising and technology advancing, the world is revisiting those early lessons, seeking not just inspiration, but a new source of hope. Barrages, fences, and turbines, the classic trio. When tidal power entered the modern age, engineers developed three main methods to capture energy from the ocean's rhythm. First, tidal barrages. These work like dams, blocking estuaries with gates and turbines that allow water to flow in and out. Barrages are very efficient at producing electricity, but they come at a cost. Changing tidal flow affects fish migration, disrupts ecosystems, and can even cause coastal erosion. These environmental concerns have limited their widespread use. Next, tidal fences emerged as a middle ground. These consist of rows of underwater turbines arranged like a fence across channels. While less disruptive than barrages, fences still impact the seabed and marine life to some extent. Finally, tidal turbines resemble underwater windmills. Water's density lets them produce more power than air-driven turbines, but they require strong construction and maintenance. Noise, marine life interference, and corrosion are challenges. Despite these drawbacks, these three methods were critical stepping stones. They taught us what worked and where to improve. That knowledge has fueled the search for cleaner, gentler tidal technologies. Floating platforms, tides, without the trauma. Imagine harnessing tidal energy without building giant dams or damaging the ocean floor. Floating platforms offer this solution. These are large structures that float on the water's surface, anchored securely but without disturbing the seabed. Underneath, turbines spin with the currents, producing electricity quietly and efficiently. One such innovation is Sustainable Marine's Plat I system. It features six turbines mounted under a floating frame, designed to be modular and easy to transport. This system is being tested in Canada's Bay of Fundy, famous for some of the world's strongest tides. The goal is to generate clean power for thousands of homes while reducing carbon emissions significantly. Another example is Orbital Marine Power's O2 turbine. It floats like a ship, deploying massive twin rotors underwater. It can produce 2 megawatts, enough for about 2,000 homes, and it can be brought to the site and maintained more easily than fixed underwater turbines. Floating platforms represent a new wave of tidal energy, less invasive, scalable, and tuned to work with nature, not against it. The world's most powerful tidal turbine. In Tuthiego, 1. Orbital Marine Power launched a tidal turbine that redefined the possibilities of underwater energy. The Orbital O2 is a floating platform weighing 680 tons, equipped with twin rotors, each 20 meters wide, sweeping a vast area beneath the waves. This design allows it to generate enough electricity to power roughly 2,000 homes in the UK, 
while cutting over 2,200 tons of CO2 annually. Unlike traditional turbines fixed to the seabed, the O2 arrives at its site like a ship, floats to location, and anchors itself. This floating approach allows easier installation and maintenance since the platform can surface for repairs, reducing costly underwater work. Orbital's technology is not only powerful, but promising in cost efficiency. Its levelized cost of energy, LCOE, is expected to be under $200 per megawatt hour, comparable to government-supported offshore wind projects. With such advancements, the O2 is more than a test. It's a step towards making tidal energy a practical, large-scale, clean energy source worldwide. The membrane that moves like a whale. What if tidal energy didn't require spinning turbines? EEL Energy's innovative undulating membrane offers a new approach. Inspired by the graceful motion of a whale's tail, this flexible membrane bends and sways underwater, capturing energy from tidal currents through its rhythmic movement. As water flows past, the membrane oscillates, creating a wave-like motion that is converted into electricity via an electromechanical system embedded within. Unlike traditional turbines, it automatically aligns itself with the current, maximizing energy capture. Its compact size is a major advantage. It needs 10 times less installation area than wind turbines for the same power output. This low drag design also reduces mechanical stress, potentially lowering maintenance costs. With a power capacity of up to 5 megawatts, it promises a powerful but gentle alternative. While prototype testing began in 2020, industrial production is still on the horizon. Yet this technology stands out by working with nature's flow rather than against it, offering a quiet, elegant solution for future tidal energy generation. Flying Kites Beneath the Sea It sounds unbelievable, an underwater kite generating electricity by flying beneath the waves. Yet the Swedish company Minesto has made it real with its deep green technology. Unlike fixed turbines, this system uses hydrodynamic lift to pull the kite through the water in a controlled figure eight pattern, moving faster than the surrounding current. This faster movement is key. Since power generation scales with the cube of velocity, the kite's speed greatly amplifies energy output. The kite carries a turbine that generates electricity, which is sent to shore through an underwater cable. Minesto offers two product lines. The microgrid model serves as smaller communities and islands with power ratings from 50 to 250 kilowatt. The utility model targets larger scale applications producing up to 3 megawatts and operating at depths beyond 60 meters. Installed first in the Faroe Islands in 2020, the system has been successfully feeding power to the grid. Its compact size and ability to operate in low-flow currents make it a promising solution for many tidal locations that are unsuitable for traditional turbines. Scaling up from island power to national grids. Minesto is turning its innovative tidal kite from a successful prototype into a scalable clean energy solution. After deploying the 100 kW DG100 system in the Faroe Islands, the company is now developing a 10 MW deep green array off the coast of North Wales at Hollyhead Deep. This project will supply power to more than 8,000 homes, showing how tidal kites can serve larger populations. Plans are even more ambitious. Minesto aims to expand this site to 80 milliwars, which is enough electricity for nearly 70,000 homes. Thanks to funding from the EU and the Swedish Energy Agency, development is moving ahead steadily. What sets Deep Green apart is its cost effectiveness. Minesto expects the levelized cost of energy to drop to around $100 per megawatt hour as capacity scales. This price is competitive with established renewables and promising for locations with slower tidal currents. These developments show tidal energy's potential to bring clean, reliable power to coastal communities worldwide, from remote islands to larger grids harnessing the ocean's pulse quietly beneath the surface. A tide of opportunity, what comes next? Though tidal energy is smaller compared to solar and wind, it is growing quickly. The market was valued at around $542 million in 2020 and is expected to exceed $5 billion by 2027, 
driven by technology improvements and climate policies. Governments are investing, such as Canada's $9.4 million in Atlantic Tidal projects and Scotland's Nova Innovation powering homes and electric vehicles entirely by tidal power. Tides are predictable because they follow the moon's schedule, making them a reliable energy source. New tidal technologies like floating platforms, flexible membranes, and underwater kites offer ways to capture energy with minimal environmental impact. As the world pushes for clean energy, tidal power stands poised to play a growing role in sustainable electricity generation. The ocean doesn't shout, it whispers, steady, rhythmic, unstoppable. And now, we're learning to listen. From ancient tide mills to futuristic underwater kites, humanity is finally tapping into the silent power that's always surrounded us. These machines, some gliding like creatures, others anchored with purpose, aren't just inventions, they're bridges to a cleaner future. Tidal energy won't replace all other forms overnight, but it doesn't need to. It only needs to flow quietly, consistently, and endlessly. If we let it, the next time you watch the tide roll in, remember that it might be more than a wave. It might be tomorrow's electricity,